Hello, and welcome to Parasoft JTest Unit Test Assistant. To start your journey, you'll be creating your first unit tests using the Unit Test Assistant. You'll be creating meaningful unit tests, which isolate the method under test and validate its behavior with assertions. First, you'll create a demo project to work on, then create and configure a suite of unit tests, and finally, Make one of those tests more meaningful by reviewing recommendations and applying a quick fix. I'll be demonstrating in Eclipse today, but the same actions can be taken in IntelliJ. First, let's create a demo project. Click on the File menu, go to New, and choose JTest Example Project. You can modify the settings for the new project if needed, and click Finish when you're done. We'll be creating unit tests for the account class. So let's go ahead and open that class. It's located in source main Java, then examples, nbank, account. Once you have the account class open, locate the apply method near the bottom. This looks like a simple method, which takes a transaction object. But if you were to try and create a unit test for this method manually, it can be tricky. Unit tests will need some boilerplate code to create the object under test, and then call the apply method, as well as some assertions. In addition, the test should focus on the behavior of the apply method, not the iTransaction argument. So we need to isolate this method for testing. With the unit test assistant, creating unit tests for this method will be easy. Place the cursor anywhere in the method, and then click the Create Test Suite action in the unit test assistant view. If you don't see the action labels, you can click on the View menu and choose Show Action Labels. In the dialog that opens, you can choose how you want the test configured and what to create tests for. Let's optimize the test for maximum code coverage and choose to initialize mocks within the test method. We're only going to create a test right now for the apply method. So click OK when you're ready. The unit test assistant will analyze the method under test, looking for code paths to cover and determining how to cover them with input values and mocks. A separate test case will be added for each of these code paths. It will also run all generated tests so that it can analyze the runtime data and add assertions with real values. When that process is done, a summary dialog tells you what was generated. And with that, you've created a JUnit test suite. Let's take a closer look at what was generated. The unit test assistant took care of the initial test setup for you by declaring objects and variables needed for the unit tests. As you can see, an account under test was created using a mocked customer and a default initial balance. The apply method is then called with a mocked iTransaction parameter. In order to isolate the method under test, some objects like the customer and transaction have been mocked. The unit test assistant leverages the open source library Mockito to help you isolate your code during your test and reduce the complexity associated with isolation. Mocking can be complex to do manually. So here, the unit test assistant has already done the work for you. The mocked iTransaction parameter is configured using a helper method to make the test easier to read. You'll learn more about isolation and mocking as your testing journey progresses. Finally, assertions are made on the account under test to verify the state of the account 
after the apply method runs. During the test creation process, the unit test assistant ran the generated tests, analyzed their flow, inspected objects and variables as they changed during the test, and used this data to create these meaningful assertions. You'll also notice that there are a few comments in places indicating that a value is a provided value. These values are the result of the analysis I mentioned before, where the unit test assistant has determined specific values to use for each test case. If we scroll down, we'll see other test cases which were also added with different provided values and mocked values. These other cases cover different code paths through the method being tested. We have successfully created a suite of tests which cover all code paths of the apply method without the need for any manual configuration. So let's execute these tests by using the unit test assistant view so that the assistant can help analyze the test and provide valuable recommendations on how to improve it. Remember, the unit tests you create with the unit test assistant are normal JUnit tests that can be run with any JUnit runner or within your CI process. Let's click Run All. Once your test executes, the system will analyze those tests and display any recommendations that it finds. These recommendations will help improve your unit testing and make your tests even better. The unit test assistant has noticed that the fee method is being called on the mocked transaction. If we look at the code under test, the return value of fee is used to modify the account balance. Suppose we want to test the use case where the fee is non-zero. We can easily improve the test to do just that. In the recommendations view, click the mock it action to mock that method so that we can control the value that fee returns. The mocking code is added automatically. And now we can update fee result, which is what this method is going to return. Let's change it to five and save the test. Now, if we rerun all tests, the final balance of the account should be different and the test will report an assertion failure. We expected this because the test asserts on the final balance. The unit test assistant also noticed the assertion failure, and it provided a recommendation with quick fixes to either update or remove that assertion. We want to keep that assertion, so let's choose update assertion. The assertion value is now updated to the proper value. Let's rerun it one more time and verify that the test now passes. So there you have it. With a few simple clicks, we've created a meaningful set of unit tests that isolates the method under test and validates its behavior. Your JUnit journey is underway. Thanks for watching.